McMinnimans is known for renovating these big historic properties throughout the Northwest. You see this big property and you wouldn't know there's a small bar inside. A small bar to me is an inviting space. Just warm and inviting. So it's somewhere where you can get cozy, like a, you know, a comfortable room in your house almost, but better because you've got a bartender. I love that there's sort of a forced community when you go into a space that small. You're not saying hi to the person standing next to you. It's a little odd. Everybody's got to be close and that, of course, spurs conversation that gets people talking. They're going to connect because that's the spirit of the place. That's by design. And when design can inform behavior, you're set. You can't have too many bars. You can't. We've tried. <laughs> it could be in a garden shed. It could be in a milk shed. It could be under a church. It could be in a broom closet. Uh -oh. find something at the end of the hall or behind a hidden door, places where you wouldn't normally think of looking. It could be anywhere. If you take a more personal bar like Bob's Bar, Bob's Bar would be named after my grandfather. It has a lot of beer quotes. He used to do a column for the Oregonian, sort of a humorous column about beer. Beer people have never been awarded this kind of poetic licensing, possibly because they were too busy having a good time to stop and write about it. And that's wow. dad, right there. The people would make the bars what they are or the history that makes the bars what they are. When I was a kid, detention was uh, uh, some oak chairs outside the principal's office. And this is much better. At the Kennedy School, we have honors and we have detention. They are polar opposites. We could have ourselves a night, treat you right. We be feeling good, I'm feeling They're located on opposite sides of the building and definitely offers a different air for whichever hallway you're walking down. Each space features a little history and a lot of treasures. Find as many vintage pieces as you can because they all have soul. And then you keep adding or subtracting or whatever until it seems to make sense. Right now we're sitting in the Cypress Room. We do reggae music, it has kind of island theme. There's rum drinks, there's food that sort of accompanies that. Gets me thinking, you know what, maybe I'm not in Portland for three minutes. Final is sort of new to a regular program, what we're doing. We've been doing it here at the Cypress Room. We've been doing it at Pat's Corner for a few years. We've added it to two more bars at the Grand Lodge. They're definitely sort of tailored to the person or inspiration for that location. A lot of times we'll name you know, the drinks after different characters of that location. A small bar is what you make it. You have to pick your favorite and make it your own. Red Shed, you know, that was our essentially our first real small bar. It's basic fire, you know, whiskey, and uh, chit chat, and that is simple and human. The music is, you know, people talking. Then you just don't look out for small spaces after that. Yeah.